Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to make smooth beans. Now let's get this recipe on the road by using our favorite beans. I'm gonna be using fresh pinto beans. What I mean by fresh is that I cook them, but I don't want you to feel limited. If you like to use canned beans, not to worry, you're gonna need two cans. And as you can see, I just scoop them out of the pot with the broth, not to worry. You're gonna go ahead and pour them into your blender. And we're gonna be adding another cup of water. We want smooth, smooth beans. And to season our beans to give it a nice flavor, I like to use a serrano. You can use a jalapeno if you like. And about one fourth of an onion. And now we're gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done, let's get to cooking. Place your burner on a medium heat and you're gonna add about as much oil as you wanna use today. I'm gonna go with a little bit less than a tablespoon. Allow your oil to warm up a good 30 seconds. Add your blended beans. And this recipe will work with any beans that you like. If you like black, pinto, white beans, kidney beans, it's gonna work. So go ahead and start combining your ingredients. Once you're done combining your ingredients, make sure to bring your pot up to a boil. Once your pot comes to a boil, you're gonna go ahead and place it on a medium low heat and you're gonna come and stir periodically. You do not wanna burn your beans. You do not wanna upset your Mexican husband if you have one that you burn the beans. And you don't wanna get your family in a bad mood, so don't burn the beans. So just come and stir periodically. One of the other tips that I'm gonna give you, if you're buying canned beans and you wanna adjust the salt, this would be the time when you do it, but we salted them to perfection, so we are good here. So we're gonna to continue to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes, and then you're gonna see the consistency that you wanna look for. I just wanna make sure that we're on the same page. So start counting 10 to 15 minutes after you reach that foamy little part in your beans. And you can have a lot of fun here, stirring it in, kind of like the 80s kids with that um, play sand. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like in here, so much fun. So have fun stirring, being in love, loving yourself, and thinking how happy your family's gonna be with your perfect beans. Not just your family, your belly. <laughs> After 10 minutes, your beans are gonna start looking thicker. This is where you're gonna to have to keep an eye on your beans and you wanna stop when you're ready. When the beans get as thick as you like them, you're gonna stop. I'm gonna to continue to cook for another five minutes because I already know that look my family gets when I make these nice, creamy, and perfect. And that's what we're waiting for, so hang tight. And boom, done, our delicious smooth beans are ready. And today I'm gonna to be serving our beans with some carne con chile colorado. I made a big meal prep pot for me and my good friend, she's a single mom and she's moving so this is gonna help her for her week. Love you amiga if you're watching. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say uh. And there you have it, some easy smooth beans that you guys requested I make for you from our previous recipes. They're absolutely delicious and they're a lot easier for your body to digest, especially when you're eating it with proteins. And the best way to have these beans is by getting a tortilla, corn or flour, and just letting the juices from the carne con chile colorado smooth with the beans. Ooh, delicious. You guys are gonna have to look away because this is one of my favorite dishes, if not my favorite, and it's gonna get dangerous. Mmm. Wow. That's absolutely delicious. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you, and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!